So, right now, as I speak, it is patently obvious that the world needs women and men of peace to rise up in the world. Now, I wonder if you, like me, you consider yourself to be potentially to be one of those people of peace, but we know we will never be world leaders or change makers on the world stage. Yet we know in our hearts that peace begins at home, who we are, where we are. So how do we actually start to fulfill our calling to be women and men of peace? What is our first step? I remember approaching one of my most cherished uh, mentors uh, when I was in my 30s with a heartfelt question. How can I be a, a, a more loving person? I'd had one of those rude awakenings uh, in life when I, I thought I was essentially a loving person, but a number of my actions over a period of a few weeks suggested that the truth may lie elsewhere. My mentor said to me, if you want to be more loving, then be more loving. I said, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? What? Uh, he said again, if you want to be more loving, then be more loving. Just do it. He could see I wasn't getting it. He said again, you don't learn to be more loving by pontificating about being more loving. You learn to be more loving by practicing being more loving to those around you. As you practice being more loving, you find you will become a more loving person. And he added, the one proviso is you must love like Jesus Christ did. He loved seeking nothing in return. Practice that kind of love, self-giving love. I walked away in a bit of a daze. Surely there must be more to it than that. I, I expected to be given a reading list at the very least. Turns out he was right. Love your neighbour. Just do it. Seek nothing in return. It seems that we all have a flame of love located in us when we came into being, yet the flame remains a pilot light unless the conditions become favourable for it to ignite. It also seems those conditions become favourable for it to ignite when we start practising loving our neighbour. Can I suggest that this speaks directly into our feelings of helplessness about the Ukraine war that is unfolding. We want to do something, but what on earth can we do? Poet, writer and comic John Rodell posted this this past week. I can't make the world more peaceful. I can't stall tanks from roaring down roads. I can't prevent children from having to hide in bunkers. I can't convince the news to stop turning war into a video game. I can't silence the sound of bombs tearing neighbourhoods apart. I can't turn a guided missile into a bouquet of flowers. I can't make a warmonger have an ounce of empathy. I can't convince ambassadors to quit playing truth or dare. I can't deflect a sniper's bullet from turning a wife into a widow. I can't stave off a country being reduced to ash and rubble. I can't do any of that. The only thing I can do is love the next person I encounter without any conditions or strings. To love my neighbour so fearlessly that it starts to ripple, that stretches out from one horizon to the next. I can't force peace on the world, but I can become a force of peace in the world. Because sometimes all it takes is a single lit candle in the darkness to start a movement. Lord, make me a candle. Make me a candle of comfort in this world. Let me burn with peace.